I don't know, trying to crack a copier, how to configure a scan to email. The first thing you need to find out, find the IP address of that copier. What is the IP? Talk to your IT. Or maybe someone has that IP address written down. Or you could check out one of my other videos to find out how to locate an IP, IP address for a copier or a printer. So check out, you do have a video how to do that how to find the IP. But once you do that, find the IP, open up a browser. I would prefer Internet Explorer. Once you find that IP, put the numbers up here. The only thing you need for it is the IP address. It's just the numbers, of, just the numbers, which is the IP numbers. Once you do that, you're going to click OK. Uh, you're either going to come to a page like this, and you only for now, you can either log into the public. But if you are, you log in at the right hand corner. You also might, depending on the model you have, Either the web interface is going to look, look like this too. But to log into the admin mode, you must be in the admin mode to configure the scan to email. Go to the top, log in. Go to the bottom here, yes, I do want to log in. Click OK. Once you're here, you're probably back to the same page here. Click on the administrator option, log in. Once you're logged in, type in the password. Now, many of the Konica copiers, uh, the default password should be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Or one of the new, if you have one of the newer models, it should be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you'll type in one through eight twice. So one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You have to type it twice on the new copiers. You have an older model, it's just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One time only. Once you have the password, Click OK. And again, if you do not have the default password or the, the correct password, get with your IT, get that password. If that password doesn't work, uh, you got to call uh, your provider of the, of the copier to get that password reset. Now, once you're in here, the first thing you need to do on the Konica copy is to, to configure scan to email. You got to go to the option. Uh, it's going to be a system settings. Got to look for an option that says system settings. Click on that. Once you're in here, this particular copy is already configured, configured, so I'm going to show you what it looks like. Let's log into the system settings. We're trying to get to that. Here we go. Okay. Once we're in the system settings, you're going to go to the first link that says machine, machine settings. Right here. Got to make sure these boxes are filled out. Device location, administrator name. You can put anything you want in there, something that's appropriate. Email address, you gotta give the copy an email. Give it an email address. And again, if you're using uh, possibly a 2007, 2010 exchange, I will give it a, an email that is legit, not, nothing generic, but uh, depending how your network is set up, you could try something generic. But an email address must be here. Also, the device name, you could keep it the way it is. This particular model is the uh, Kanaka C364. And also again, the email address. I would suggest same email that you email that you have here. Put it down here again. Copy it. Extension number. This box. You notice I left it blank. No worries. Leave it blank. So remember, system settings, machine settings. These options must be filled out. Once you do that, click OK. Now the next step to configure the the scan to email. You need to go to a link that says network. Find the network link or tab. Click on that, it's going to take you to the next link. Next, next web page. Gotta wait for the page to come up. Okay. Once you get to the next page, there you go. The settings are going to look a little different. Now, I would suggest you are going to be in the TCPAP setting. So, uh, just this first settings right here, the TCPAP. Make sure you kind of just look through these settings. Uh, if you don't know what you're looking at, maybe your IT again, have them double check that these settings are correct, that the IP address is correct, that the mask, default gateway. Pretty much scroll down, make sure there is a name in here. You gotta have a host name. You can keep the default, that's fine. And of course, your DNS, your IP will, your IT will know this information. The DNSs are critical if you want to scan to email out. If your IT allows to scan email out from the copier, 
many IDs and not allowing, allowing scanning from copiers out to email due to security reasons. If you know the settings are correct, you're good to go. The next step is you have to click on the link that says email settings. Find the left, left corner, left side here. Click on the email settings. Once you're here, you have to go below what it says. It says email TX SNTP. That is the next option. Click on that. We do not use the pop. That's for a different option. So we need to scan out from the copier. So you're using an SMTP, which is this option right here. Email TX SNTP, single mail transfer protocol. To scan out from the copier. Okay, once you're here, make sure this box is checked. The email TX setting. Cancel emails on, email notifications on. This is pretty much default settings, photo counter notifications on, fine. Now, this is a, the critical part. Your SNTP server address, this is basically your email server address. Again, your IT will have that information. Uh, so, once you're here, either put in the IP address of that email server. If you do not know it, please find out from your IT. Or, if you do put the name of the server here, make sure you check this box. Please check to enter host name. That basically means you're typing in a name to be snp.gmail.com, snpwork.com. Uh, it could be something, but if you are typing a name, you have to make sure this box is checked. If, if you know the IP, leave it unchecked. Here we go. Now, this particular machine is using over SSL, so, I, so the option is here. If you do not use over SSL, just put it to off and you'll be fine. But this particular machine, I know it's using a Gmail account. One thing of this machine, you could use a free Gmail account. So create a free Gmail account. This is the IP that uh, points to the Gmail servers. Gmail does use SNTP over SSL. And the port down here, it is 465. If this was turned off, it will be port 25, but it's not. It does use SNTP over SSL. Now, everything else, pretty much keep going now. Leave it by default. Leave it by default. Uh, max mail size limit. Here you could actually put a limit on the emails. How big do you want that attachment to come from the copier? Uh, this one is set to 50 megabytes. Now, keep in mind, that doesn't mean that you're going to get a 50 megabyte attachment. Also, you your network it's probably restricting on getting attachments that are bigger than 5 megs, 10 megs. Again, that's your IT department. It is there's nothing wrong with the copier. It, there could be a restriction on your network on why you're not getting those attachments because either they're too large and you need to drop down this many this uh, option here, make it to the point where what is allowed on your network for email attachments. Now, once you're here, the admin email address. As you notice, we see saw this email before. The device puts in the email by default again here too. Make sure these two boxes must be filled out. That's critical. Now this particular option, the pop before SNTP, should be turned off by default. Pop before SNTP, leave, leave it there by default. Now SNTP authentication, because this machine is using a Gmail account, you gotta put in the whole string. Uh, this machine is using a Konica scan file at gmail.com. It does use that. For Gmail accounts, you gotta put in the whole email for the user user ID. And if you're not authenticating to your server, uh, you will uncheck this box. You would, you know, you do not need to put anything here. You just click OK and save the settings. But since we're using a Gmail account on this particular unit, we gotta make sure this we're authenticating, put in the email, and of course we'll check this box. You gotta make sure you put in the password for that particular user. Once you're done, click OK and you're done. You're on your way. Scan to email should be working as soon as you click OK and save. Now, you, you do want to, let me cancel these settings. But remember, if you are saving the settings, just click OK. And that was going to ask you for another page. You just make sure you say OK and save the settings. Now, once keep in mind, once you're in the admin mode of the Konica copier, it will, it will lock the copier from and it prevent the copy from printing and scanning. The copy is going to be completely locked. So you got to make sure you log out. Log out of the, the administration option. So let's log out. Make sure you log out here. And you are done. You have configured scan to email from a Konica copier. Now go to the copier. Try to scan to your email. 
you should be good to go.